Hey, what's going on guys? NT Izuchi here. And if you're starting an online business for the first time, stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you three realities that you must quickly understand in order to succeed. All right, guys, welcome back. So regardless of what has motivated you to kind of get started in an online business, whether it be you know, a love for a particular product or maybe a passion for a particular subject or topic, or maybe you're like many others who you know, are going through hardships where having an online business will actually help to alleviate those, some of those problems that you're having. Now, I'm sure you've done your research on your particular market, and I'm even more sure that you've seen someone in your particular market space or niche or industry that is having an enormous amount of success. Success, right? You see the glitz and glamour, but oftentimes you don't see the actual hard work and grit that actually go into achieving those level of success. And if you're one of those people who kind of neglect the hard work and grit and the realities that you have to really come to an understanding of, you know, it's going to be really, really hard for you to stay motivated when you run into hurdles and actually continue to kind of break down those barriers, right? So what I want to do right now is head over to a live on-screen recording where I'm going to share with you three realities that you must quickly understand in order to succeed in your online business, right? So we're going to go over to a live on-screen recording. We're going to break those three um, kind of realities down. And when we're done with that, we're going to head back over here to finish off the video all right so let's head over okay so if you're starting an online business for the first time here are three realities you must quickly understand in order to succeed so reality number one is that you will lose money at first okay and this goes for the overwhelming majority of businesses that intend to see major growth okay I want you to answer this question what's the perceived value of your business in regards to either buying from or working with you if it's low, then this is exactly why you need to spend money and improve your overall brand and presence online. Think of it as an investment in your business with the intent to see a 10x return. So here's a visual explanation to drive home this message. If you're a real estate investor and you own this old and decrepit home, you may not be able to sell it and make a huge profit. However, if you invest in that home and fix it so that it is updated and modern, then you'll probably get a lot more people who want to buy that home and actually live in it. Well, the same thing goes for your business, okay? The idea is to not be reluctant to spend or invest, whatever you want to call it, in your business and get things set up properly so that it's more appealing and a no-brainer to buy from or work with you. Okay, reality number two is that things aren't always what they seem. And what I mean by that is just when you think you have everything figured out, there is always another gear or level in order for you to improve. So here's a face that I'm sure you are familiar with. His name is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's an Austrian-American actor, producer, businessman, investor, author, philanthropist, activist, and former politician. But he first made his name years ago in professional bodybuilding. Now, someone who is naive and wants to get into professional bodybuilding will see this photo and say, oh, you know, all I need to do is, you know, go to the gym and just pound weights all day and I can look like this guy. When in reality, there are so many other components Components that go into becoming a bodybuilding champion. There are workout routines, pre-workout routines, post-workout routines, nutrition and diet, getting the proper sleep and coaching to guide you, and I'm sure there are a ton of other areas I'm leaving out because I'm not a pro bodybuilder who has gone through all the hard work that it takes to get there. So similarly to an online business, you may see others doing what you want to accomplish, but you don't see the systems in place and hard work, personal development and sacrifices that were made in order to achieve that. You know, you'll have to get a domain name and website hosting to establish your home online. You know, you'll have to get an autoresponder service to generate and collect leads. You know, you'll have to get landing page and sales phone software to help automate your sales. You'll have to set aside a budget for paid traffic to significantly increase the amount of eyeballs that see your offer. You know, you'll have to invest in marketing and skill set training and even coaching to improve your capabilities as a professional. OK, there will always be things you will need to add in order to keep progressing. And it's a reality that you need to understand now. 
And finally, reality number three is your business will never run on its own. Okay, I'm sure you've seen you know videos of successful entrepreneurs lying on sandy beaches while checks just keep rolling in. Understand that those are marketing videos, okay, that sell a lifestyle, you know, a small snippet of their lifestyle in all reality. If all they did was lay on beaches all day, I guarantee you that their businesses will run into the ground. Now, I want you to imagine planning on flying a commercial plane somewhere or a private plane, if that's your thing, only to learn that there will be no pilot in the cockpit, okay, and that the plane was to fly on autopilot for the entire flight. Okay, it would be ludicrous for any airliner to suggest that in this day and age, let alone you allow yourself to get on a plane that won't have a pilot present. Because what happens when something goes wrong, like turbulence? Okay, you need a pilot to take control in real time and make human decisions based on what is going on now. Technology is great, but we are just not there yet. Okay, the same thing goes for your business. What happens when your email campaigns are failing or your social media ads are failing or your content isn't converting either traffic to leads or leads into sales? OK, you have to be present in order to adjust when things don't go as planned, just like pilots take the plane off of autopilot when things go awry. OK, you can automate a lot of things in your business, but you can't take yourself out completely. So if you're starting an online business for the first time, I hope now being aware of and having an understanding of these three realities will help you to succeed. So let's jump back over to the live presentation. All right, so I hope that you found this content to be valuable. Okay, it's going to take some you know, investment in yourself and in your business if you want to see some success for the long haul. It's also going to take uh, some daily improvement of yourself and your business if you want to see success for the long haul. And of course, you have to show up every single day to work your business, okay? It's not going to run itself, right? So again, I hope that you got some value from this. And if you did get some value from this, you know, feel free to like this video if you're watching it on YouTube and subscribe. And also like this blog post if you have to be seeing it on some social media platform okay if you have your own particular take on this particular topic please okay feel free to hit the comment section and share your thoughts and of course if you know someone else who could find this of value feel free to share it with them but of course, I never like to leave you empty handed, okay, particularly if you're getting started online with an online business, okay, one of the hardest things is, you know, following a, you know, daily action plan if you don't have one, okay, oftentimes you might get started and you don't know what to do on a day-to-day -day basis, so I created a guide for you that will help solve that. So what I did is put together a four-step daily action plan uh, for producing more leads and generating more sales within your business, okay, so if you want to get access to that, head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan and what you're going to get is a downloadable PDF document that has this four step daily action plan and is also going to be a video of me walking you step by step through this daily action plan. Okay, so if you want to get access to that, head over to ntizuchi.com forward slash action plan and my friend, I will see you on the inside of that training. Ciao for now.